Now let us see how we can uh, get drawables within uh, this Java code. Now we'll say RAS dot get drawable. Now we have an int ID. Now R dot drawable dot now we got only one image I think uh, that comes by default with any application that is the IC launcher so this we get we'll convert this to a bitmap drawable So we get a drawable resource uh, from our uh, from our resource drawable resource file the image that we had stored within the uh, drawable folder IC launcher and we get a bitmap drawable corresponding to this file and now we can assign this uh, to our uh, text view text view so say Set background drive. So it's a PD. So as you can see, there's a, a cross line coming across this, which says that this method has now been deprecated. Now, because in the new version we have TV dot uh, set uh, background. Uh, I think it's only background. Just see, set background. So this is the method we are currently using, but this was added. Uh, to API level 16 but as we are now uh, we have set the minimum API level to 8 so we can't use till we uh, increase our API level to beyond uh, 16 so we'll uh, make use of the same old method background uh, driver so let's see what, what difference this makes to the uh, text view Now this is when uh, when we need to get a drawable uh, corresponding to a, a image in the uh, folder, but even we can uh, apply directly uh, this image to the as you can see this comes as a background to the uh, text view. Now we can even apply this uh, directly uh, to the uh, text view rather than uh, obtaining a bitmap drawable and then assigning it to the uh, text view. We got another option. I can simply say set background resource set background resource I can directly say r dot drawable sorry r dot drawable dot ic launcher so this is another way of assigning uh, images or drivers to uh, UI components so this is just generate the same output as we already uh, have seen Okay, so one uh, more resource is coming to my mind is uh, plurals. Not very uh, used, but still uh, it is there uh, as an option for you to use. Is a quantity string plurals. Now what exactly this is? Uh, suppose we have a quantity for uh, uh, some variable, say uh, one, and uh, a message corresponding to say uh, the one we say there is one student and then there is the rest of the quantity we will say uh, there are uh, this many number of students so we will just put down a name to this students in class so I got a plural uh, string assigned which says students in class and we will add quantity uh, strings to this uh, quantity I'll say one uh, sorry, this already has this one, and I'll add another which will say other. And we can set message for this quantity one. I can say there is one student, and for the rest, we can say. 
there are these many students so this will be replaced by the value that will pass on to it right so we have a plurals name is students in class we have a message set for uh, quantity 1 and we have a message which is set for any other uh, quantity that comes other than 1 so we'll go back to the java file okay we'll just take this uh, make all comment later so now we'll get the string from this uh, to message res dot get quantity string and we'll use this we'll see what is the id of this r dot plurals dot students in class so we'll have a quantity say one and formatting say one and the message that we get will put down to the text view so we've, we've got one as the uh, student number and now we'll change that to any other number uh, except one and then we'll see what message uh, we get for that it says there's one student so we're gonna change this to say uh, 15 it says there are 15 students so this is how we can use the plurals uh, to have different messages for uh, you know different situations as per the quantity of uh, values that we have for it so we've seen uh, a number of resources that we can uh, use in our XML file we can uh, set up a string you can set up a color you can set up a dimension a string array a plural